Welcome back everybody. In this episode we're going to be looking at Take It Racing 2 again. I have finally updated the uh, game. I updated it last week but I've been uh, doing some changes and everything to make sure it plays properly. I've had to fix a few bugs and stuff. Um, but here is the new artwork. Uh, as you can see they've got this new um, like white style uh, with this uh, black checkerboard and uh, the light green flags. Uh, and I think this, it makes it way more readable on the Game Boy, that's the main thing. Um, and so if we just jump straight into it, I'm going to play for it. I might cut some out, obviously, um, so we're not, you know, going back and forth. But here we are at the start screen. I've changed the uh, the start screen a bit. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's more black and white, like, uh, or it's more contrasting, like I said. Uh, but if we start a new game, we come in here. Uh, so, to those of you who haven't seen before, I, I've reduced the calendar down to uh, to this thing, and uh, this will keep track of the year and the date of the of the month, and also which season we're in. Uh, and as the game progresses, it won't. It's not in the in this demo version, but in the full game, as the as the time progresses, you'll slowly unlock more stuff. By winning races, you you move through time faster than if you were to lose races. Uh, we have a little awards section here where it keeps track of our awards. Uh, so that means the uh, you know championship cup basically. If you've won it, then you uh, then uh, it collects it here for you. Uh, there is, I think, I don't know if I've had it in this in de in this demo, but there will be a bonus for for completing that. Um, so every every championship cup you get, it like doubles your winnings so that you can. Uh, you know, progress a bit faster when you win, but once you've done it once, it, uh, that bonus goes away. Uh, so if we have a look in the garage, you can see now that our stats are simplified, uh, and this is for two reasons, one being to increase the contrast, like I keep saying, and two, uh, because it's just making the game simpler, easier for players to understand, and easier for me to make. Both of those things is what makes a great game. Uh, and so if we if I go over this now, we have a handling, braking, engine size, and if we look in here, we have power and fuel consumption. We also have a uh, you know a region and a country, and we also have a brand, but the brand doesn't really matter. Uh, so if we take it racing, I think I'll do some drag racing first. Um, you can see here that it requires you to have a class, a region, and an engine engine size. And obviously this is any, 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 so it doesn't matter what car we have. Uh, the entry free fee is $200, and our prize is $400, but we have to win two out of these three races in order to win. Uh, but the rival power is only four, and like we saw, I think ours is like six or seven. Uh, so it should be easy to win, but I have been known to lose. Uh, so if we buy entry, then we say yes, and then we can see here we're at Tomoka Beach. Uh, and uh, so now if we want to, we could back out and we could go buy a different car or something. Uh, like knowing that, uh, you know, we, we've got access to the race and whatever. And as you can see as well, it says race one. And obviously that means that, um, you know, this is the first race. If I make this full screen, actually. It's the first race. So if we uh, lose this first one, then we still have two more to uh, try and beat the guy. Uh, so if we do slot one, which is our only car, then we can uh, try and win. So right now I'm mashing the up key in order to rev the engine, and this uh, black arrow on the very right of the screen is uh, is what we have to match because that's our power. If we had a way more powerful car, then it would be closer to the, to the top, and it'd be more of an effort to try and match this arrow. Um, okay, so yeah, we're on the left, so we won, and so now we have to win again. You see it's uh, race two now. So if we win again, we can uh, try and get some money. So it counts down, and then they will light up, and off we go. You can see we're on the left of the uh, racetrack. Uh, we're currently winning. If I was to stop, then they would overtake. So I need to rev back up, which takes a lot of effort, and I might lose now, actually. Looks like we lost. Did we lost? Yeah, we lost. Uh, unfortunately, but we still have this race to try and come back. Uh, if you over rev, it will also, uh, you know, decrease your speed, but it won't be as bad as if you just stop. 
And there we go, we won. So we finished first. We won the $400. The time moves forward. We're now on uh, day six. And uh, we can now, obviously we have some money. We have, we have 5,200. Meaning that we won that extra 200. We bet 200. We won 400. So now we're up 200. So if I sell my car, if I say yes, $800 I get for it. Fantastic. And now I can buy a car. I can replace the car basically uh, with a new one. So let's just have a look at all the cars. Uh, ooh, that's actually all American cars. So if I view all the cars, you see here we got the, you know, what looks like a Volkswagen Beetle. We got a, uh, it's actually a Renault and a Citroen. But uh, don't tell anyone I said that. It's uh, obviously completely uh, not copying anyone's <laughs> intellectual property. But yeah, what we want is an American uh, Class C car because we want to uh, participate in in the stock car racing. So if we go through here, we can see some nice cars. Um, I might pick this one. I, this is probably one of my favorites based on the Hudson Hornet. If you've uh, watched Cars, it's you know, Doc Hudson. Uh, and it's, you know, the whole idea is based on a real car that used to win a lot of um, stock car racing back in the day. So if we buy this, then we can uh, then go ticket racing again. This time we want to go circuit racing. And then we just, uh, the entry fee is 500. Um, there are six races. And the grand prize is five thousand dollars. So let's see if we can do it. Uh, yeah. So when you're in a championship, and this also means the drag racing, uh, you can't enter anything else unless you cancel what you have. Um, and this is just so there's consistency within the game, um, and also makes it simpler for the player as well. So yeah, if we take it racing, then. We can uh, go straight in. This is the qualifier, so we have to come at least seventh. Uh, there are some bugs uh, right now with this because I've been trying to make it so there are more than seven races in the game, uh, and this will mean that you know you can have any racing from like three races in one to uh, what could be up to twelve. I've currently got it at. I was trying to make it fifteen. I was trying to make it sixteen, but uh, when you have that much going on, the the game, well, I couldn't build the game because uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't work on a Game Boy because there's too much information on one piece of the game. So I've had to uh, like link it together through invoking different scripts. So there is some latency with some bits. Uh, if I show you, um, it calculates right here. We're waiting a long time um, for this to come up. Obviously, I do prompt it, but if I was to mash it, it would uh, take a while. And that's because it's calculating all of the values for which cars are, you know, out of fuel and going into the pits. And then if they go to the pits, then it's uh, it's how much uh, time they've taken, you know, in the pits. So that is an issue, but I am finding a way around it by uh, invoking different scripts. But like I said, it inc increases the latency and uh, slows down the game. So I'm trying to find a w another way around that. Uh, but hopefully in the final game, it won't be an issue but uh yeah if we keep racing we'll uh we'll keep seeing so right now what i'm doing is i'm i'm looking at the handling the speed and the braking of this section and i know what my car stats are because obviously i made the game or whatever but also if i just test it if i say drive normal the section time is nine and that's fantastic the smaller the section time the better uh, and this one i'm going to choose aggressive section time 10 which is another really low score if I choose aggressive again, then we see section time 13, and that's higher. Uh, so we might want to think about doing it differently next time around. And you can see our fuel is 7, so because I didn't go in the pit. So I'm going to conserve my fuel, and I'm going to uh, drive safely now, so that I can uh, get around to the pit. See, that section time was 19. That was that was a very high section score, uh, which means... Which means we lost time and now we're in position three. Uh, if you see, we limped to the finish uh, because we we're actually on our last lap, which is a bit of a shame. And it looks like we came 
fourth overall. Uh, and that was because we limped to the finish line and someone overtook us. So uh, although we uh, we didn't win, we still qualified. And that, all that is all that counts at the moment. Because if you see here, uh, the qualifier, like the championship hasn't begun technically. Uh, so if you look through here, it, when it, when we start make, taking in points, uh, the championship scores will start going up. So if I go back out, and, and then ticket racing again, we are now in race one, so we've gone out of the qualifier. There's more laps, I think, in this race. So we have to care more about our fuel. So if we drive normal, sec uh, that was nine time, that's pretty good. Accidentally drive safe then by accident, that was 19, so, uh, you know, time. But uh, that wasn't too great, so let's try and think about this a bit better. 14, that isn't great. Uh, but sometimes you can't get much lower because your car stats are what determines the uh, the time you get around a section. You look at the bottom, the handling, the speed, and the braking is the section stats. And uh, you want to be comparing those section stats to your car. So if you know your car is really good at uh, driving fast, then you could, um, you could drive safely more often because you know that the speed won't go down that much. Because uh, if you drive aggressively, you're increasing the speed and the braking, but reducing handling. And if you drive safely, then you're uh, decreasing the fuel consumption and the speed and increasing the handling, I think. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I'll make sure that, uh, you know, all of this stuff is, uh, you know, like in the manual when I when I create the game. So, yeah, uh, we want to drive normal. Section 9, that's perfect. We're going to drive aggressive. 10, fantastic. And you see on there we had some latency with the updates of the uh, the fuel and the and the laps, I think, because like I said, we're invoking different scripts and it's like running through, and it just isn't that great. But yeah, I'll I'll try and fix that stuff. Um, and definitely as the as the main game continues to be uh, made, this uh, this uh, demo will be updated as well to reflect those changes. Like for example, the tutorial. There is currently no tutorial in here, and I, and I know it needs it. Okay, so our fuel is currently on nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pit, and uh, in the pit, the uh, the amount of fuel that you pick up is the amount of time that you uh, take in the pit. So we're currently in first, and there are two laps remaining. This car has a not a great um, fuel consumption. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to add three quarters of the tank. I'm not going to fill all the way up, uh, but technically it should be on 39, so that's technically full anyway. Uh, but but luckily, it, uh, although we've gone down to fifth because we've got two laps left, I think we can finish the race pretty well with this amount of fuel. So let's go through and see what happens. Still in fifth. Let's just try and keep the, uh, the pace going, try and go down... Uh, uh, Try and uh, move up fuel pack. Okay, so I think a lot of cars pitted there because they ran out of fuel. So now we've moved up to second to position one, uh, but that might not happen. That might not stay for long because some cars will be better than us because uh, our car isn't perfect. Um, but neither is theirs because obviously they had to pit. So let's drive normal again. Okay, we, we're staying in first, and we've got a nice bit of fuel left. 18 fuel left. I'm in first. Let's drive safe around here. Just save some fuel. Okay, so we're on the last lap now. Position 1. 17 fuel remaining. I think we're going to do this. We're not going to run out of fuel, I hope. 10. We're in first. On the last bit. I think we have to drive normal here. Did we win? I think we won, guys. Fantastic. Okay, so we finished first. With a time of 270, I think that's good. 12 points. So now you can see in the championship uh, that we are position 1. And if we click here, we can see uh, the other race's points. So, for example, we have 12 points. Race of 2 has 5 points. Race of 3 has 6. Race of 4 is 3. Race of 5 has 4. Race of 6 has 8. Race of 7 has 10. So we're in first. Race 7 is right behind us, uh, and everyone else is, is uh, you know, uh, 
around us as well. But if we now go ticket racing again, we can see we're in a different track. And our car might not be as good in this track. So we could go out and, you know, and sell a car and buy a new one. Or if we had enough money, we could, you know, upgrade our, our garage slot by uh, buying an upgrade. Uh, but that would cost us 10 grand right now. So that doesn't, it's not really an option. Um, but if we did, we could have two cars and we could switch between them whenever we want. Uh, so that is an option. But, uh... You can see here we have three grand so we if we sold our car we could buy a better car but what i'm going to do is i'm going to save it here but yeah i uh, i don't want to i don't want to just play the whole game with you guys although it would be it would be fun i just want to thank you guys for all the support i've had so far because uh, uh a lot of you obviously watch me for my tutorials uh some of you watch me for this uh development yeah so if you enjoyed this and this looks like a fun game i would love to hear what you think after you guys play so uh, remember that it's on my itch page, it's just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll link it in the comments and the uh, description even. Uh, and uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, there will be updates constantly coming. I, I want to work on this basically full time soon. But I really want you guys' feedback. The reason why I'm taking so long with this is because I want it to be good. This, I feel like this is a long term thing for me. Um, uh, that being said, and the fact that I said that I wanted to work on this full time, um, I also want to work on the in the in the GB Jam. Yeah, so I'm going to join this Game Boy Competition 2021. Uh, and although it, you know, here's, here are the rules down here. It says it has to be a brand new game. Uh, you're allowed to remake your or someone else's game for a different platform. Uh, brand new game you barely started. Um, but you're not allowed to use wrong ROM hacks, not safe for work, a project you've been working on for months, and uh, patch has already been released. So basically, I'm not allowed to use Ticket Racing 2 for this, obviously, and I, I don't intend to. But for example, the tanker prototype I made, uh, I will probably be trying to rework that into this. Um, I'm also thinking of a few other games I uh, I want to try out that I've had in my head for a while, but I haven't. Uh, even started yet um, and I I would love to make those uh, and I recommend you guys do too if you if you make something for this I will definitely play it and I I want to when all the submissions are up this is a really easy way for me to get content I can just play you know people's games uh, and we can uh, discuss them in the comments and and obviously I'll be rating them if I submit then I'll give my reasons for the for the ratings I give and uh, I think it would be a bit of fun. I, if you didn't know, my original Take It Racing game came from a game jam. It took me a week to make. Uh, obviously, it's not the best game. It's very grindy. Uh, but from it, it inspired, you know, what what I would want from uh, a Game Boy racing game, given the limitations of GB Studio, obviously. But yeah, I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to my Patreon. They're up on screen right now. Like this video if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.